Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video on Cars Enthusiast channel. Today we're talking about five annoying things you have to deal with in owning a car over five years. If you are one of the rich people in the world, you will change your car probably just after five years or just before the warranty stops. So this video won't be for you. But if you are a regular person and keep your car for more than five years, I think you can relate very well with what I'm about to say in this video. So let's get started. Today, we talk about five things that most people don't think when they buy a car new or second hand but you will after a while being the owner first thing you will notice is losing power have you ever thought of why is lately your car starting to feel sluggish is it seems like it sounds a bit different or when you try to overtake feels like it's not as quick as it used to be that is not your fault but the time in time, just as a human body, your car is wearing down faster or slower depending on how many miles you put on it. When you first bought it, whether it was new or second hand, you thought your car will last forever because it's the car you wanted and you enjoy it so much. But after a while, you start to get used to it and eventually you don't like it as before. That's because it wears down, as I said before, and it needs new parts, new fluids, and care in general. Don't worry, it's not just you, but everyone is going through the same experience. This leads us to the second annoying thing, which is maintenance. Now, you want to take your car to, the, to a garage to give the care it needs, but you heard stories about mechanics trying to get more money from you than the actual job costs, right? So as a solution, I can tell you this. Take your car to one garage for an assessment of all your car's issues and take it to a different garage to fix it, knowing everything it needs to be done from the previous garage, right? No matter what the mechanics will say. Of course, you should listen to that mechanic as well because you never know. But in the case you think he is trying to rob you, you can refuse the extra bits he is asking to do on your car. But bear in mind, it's always best to have different opinions from different mechanics. Break. Since we talked about maintenance, that takes us to the third annoying thing about owning a car for more than 5 years, which are the expenses. Most people won't take their car to a dealership to do all the maintenance work as they think it's very expensive. And to be honest, most dealerships are, but you must have a check before you judge because you'll never know. At the same time, try not to go to a guy because you've heard he is a good mechanic, lives near you, and he works for cheap. If that guy doesn't have a proper company that can give you a receipt for everything uh, he's doing on your car, you shouldn't take that offer for the simple fact that you are not guaranteed. Not saying that a lot of people don't know how to work on their cars, but for your own sake, go to a proper garage. Now, you've spent a lot of money maintaining that car because it's your pride and joy, but you think it's time for you to sell it. And that leads us to the fourth annoying thing in owning a car for over five years. And that would be depreciation. If you bought your car from new, in the first five years, the car will lose value but after those five years, it will lose even more than before because of the mileage of the wear and because of new models were made for that make and model. 
Also, if you are a petrol head and you'll bring modifications to the car, it will lose even more value because you made it one of a kind and not many people will like to buy it after that. Another thing you should do to keep the car's value as high as possible for longer time is to have all the paperwork for what you've done to maintain it throughout the years. The last but not least annoying thing in owning a car for more than 5 years would be sentimental value. After all those years of driving the car, maintaining it, that car helped you to get to your job, to do your job or it was your job and you developed an attachment towards the car and if you have to sell it, it will be like losing a member of your family and it won't be easy. If you are a petrol head, that's even worse because you've put so many hours into the labor to transform the car into your dream car, you still have many plans to do with it, you maintaining it like it's your baby, you spent all those money on things didn't make sense to other people and especially your for your significant other and no one will understand the bond that was created in all that time. So as a recap, those five annoying things would be losing power, which would be, you know, aging. The second one would be the maintenance, then expenses that will cost you to maintaining it and still drive and enjoy it, depreciation in value, and let's not forget about sentimental value. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the time watching this video. I really hope this will help someone in any way. And if you have different opinions or something to say about this subject, please feel free to write down in the comments section and I will respond in the shortest time or we can have a debate. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all the support you give to the channel. Don't forget to share the video with others. and. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so you can be uh, notified whenever I'm uploading new videos.